hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Renee welcome so on today's video we're gonna be talking my fall slash winter co-edit for 2023 now this is not a haul channel so I basically have just gone through the internet and different websites just to see what different statement quotes caught my eye just so I can show you guys in case you guys needed any inspiration any ideas to me a fall coat is a staple and it's an investment piece because you want to be able to take it from year to year this is not something that you're just going to buy one and then it's at the back of your closet or you're donating it this is something that may be neutral enough that you can mix and match with different pieces because we all know in the fall winter it tends to be cold it's getting cold now here in jersey at early in the mornings and late at night so you may just want to be having maybe your outfit just be a little bit more simple the coat will bring everything all together so if you want to see what i have to show you guys today stay tuned so first off, we have a piece by Norha Moore. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. It's this long line leather patchwork coat. This reminds me of a fur jacket that I actually have, but this is more so like the leather version. And this is lamb leather. To me, this gives very much so 70s vibes. It's still with the patchwork. It gives very statement and interesting, but it's neutral enough that you can mix it and match it with different pieces that you have in your closet. Again, I feel like if you're going to invest in a fall slash winter coat it should stand out a little bit but still be functional to me you can dress this coat up or down because we all know sometimes when it gets chillier outside and we're going somewhere maybe a little bit more dressed up you don't want to put on your big bubble coat you're going to want something that's a bit more put together i love how it's belted so it cinches in your waist with this boot of course you can pair with all your leather boots for the season and you can pre this even with some pumps if you needed to with like a little mini dress underneath or if you want to just make it casual and still look put together you can do this with some sneakers some denim and maybe just a t-shirt if you'd like and just pair it with a nice bag even if I could see this with like an oversized hobo bag I just love the whole 70s vintage look of this jacket I'm very much so into vintage love it I'll thrift in a heartbeat I'll go to a vintage store in a heartbeat that way you can find unique pieces but especially since this is more of a newer brand you won't see everyone in this specific coat. So let me know what you guys think. Next up, we have a coat by Dries Van Naten. Now, I very much so love this piece because of that hourglass shape. I've told you guys that in a previous video of my fall trends that that hourglass shape is gonna be trending. This is a wool coat and it has like gold embellishments by the waist. To me, this shape is very feminine and sleek and chic. The rounded shoulders are very soft and feminine again. You can dress this coat up or down, but to me, this is a perfect coat for those dress, more dressed up days, whether you're going to work or you're doing something a little bit more formal. Again, you don't want to put on a big bubble coat. You need something that is just more streamlined and chic. This is the perfect coat for that. Again, pull out your nice leather boots, pull out your fancy pumps. I can even see this paired with like tights, like the stockings and some, maybe like some pumps or some sandals if for those very much so dressed up days or for those holiday parties this will be perfect now this next coat is by Makaj and this is for the girls who live in areas like me where it gets 50 million degrees below north <laughs> you know you know it gets freezing here in Jersey and New York places like Chicago I don't know Detroit but you know cold places that you need a nice down coat but this is not the down coat of like back in the day where you don't care about the style you just care about keeping warm but with macage i just love how they sort of incorporate fashion into function what i love about this macage coat is that it cinches at the waist so again it makes it, it gives you a very feminine shape and it also cinches around like the forearm so it just gives a little bit of you know style fashion this comes in three colors it comes in a black a light gray and an orange for those of you who want to add a little bit of color to your wardrobe and you know you don't want a lot of doom and gloom you just want to brighten up your day and if you're like a bright girl you can also wear this this coat has a detachable hood if you need to remove it and it also is an oversized fit so if that's what you like then you can also go with your true size but it is recommended that you size down again we don't have to sacrifice our style just for the function but we also can't be outside freezing either the other options that i'm showing you here are cute for the days where it's like <laughs> 
it may go from warm to cool, but especially if you're someone who commutes into the city, you're definitely gonna need something that is definitely functional, is gonna keep you warm. We don't have time for the games. The oversized look, I'm sure, is to accommodate layering. If you need to layer your hoodies and your sweaters underneath it and you're still comfortable to like stretch your arms, there's nothing worse than having a down coat in the fall, winter, and you can't move your arms, you just feel stiff, so. Definitely look into this coat, I definitely will. This is a definitely an investment piece as well, so this is gonna take you from winter to winter to winter, so let me know what you guys think. Next up, we have a coat by Saks Pots. Now, I've been wanting a coat like this for years. I actually thrifted one years ago. That's similar. It needs to be refluffed. I need to take the shearling to maybe like a furrier or something. But I first seen these exact Saks Pots coats on Monique. She's a fashion blogger. But I first seen this coat on her and it comes in multiple different colors. I just love how unique this jacket is and it's still functional of course. It's gonna keep you warm and the shearling is very like full and fluffy and especially around the collar it has a lot of shearling. This is also a coat that you can dress up or down. I can see these of course again everything I'm showing you is gonna be paired well with boots but I could definitely see it with flat boots as well you are someone who likes to wear uggs because let's face it when it's cold uggs are probably the most convenient and keeps you the most warm i can see these with some really chunky socks and some uggs and especially because uggs is like stepping it up and you have different styles now so it would still look cute for those casual days but of course like i said with those boots as far as being able to purchase the jacket i know that essence has a lot of sex pots on their website but also on the secondhand market i've seen a lot of the fun colors like the pinks and the blues and the purples love those so definitely check out the secondhand market you may see it for an even better price up there although i tend to continuously wear my coats and even my clothes from season to season year to year once i'm shopping again i do see that i can stand to incorporate some color into my wardrobe maybe like some like, like a nice royal plum like a deep color like that a nice green i can or even like a nice pink nothing hot like a nice blush pink i can sort of neutralize those type of colors into my wardrobe and make it work with the things that i already have so definitely don't be afraid of color for this season i know red is a big color right now but let's not shy away from those other colors that you may not think you know Next up, we have a coat by The Frankie Shop, and it's this faux fur white coat. It comes in this shorter length, and it also comes in longer lengths. For those of you who do not like to wear fur, I personally don't mind it. I love my real fur pieces. They last. They're all vintage. To me, if you are going to wear fur these days, your best bet is to go the vintage route. They may still be a little bit pricey, but not as much as if you would buy a brand new fur. It is very hard to find furs now in the stores. A lot of them pretty much outlawed at this point, or a lot of these companies, just to keep the heat off of them, they just do not carry real fur. And these days, they are making very good faux fur jackets these days. Now, again, if you want that fur look, Definitely look into this coat. This is a statement coat because it's white. Like a cream white color, that's definitely gonna stand out. It is harder to keep clean, but to me, I love a winter white. I love white in the fall. This coat definitely gives me that more of that cool girl style, that very effortless look. Again, keep it simple with this. I wouldn't do too much. You can also add like a statement earring, maybe stack some of your bangles, things like that. I think you can really play it up more with your accessories and your jewelry and a nice oversized bag in my opinion. I'm loving the oversized bags. But definitely that effortless, nonchalant look. Keep it real simple with the outfit and just let the coat stand out. Okay guys, so that's all I have for you for today. Let me know what you think about my edit for the fall winter coats 2023. Let me know down below if you have any comments, questions. Let me know if you would style any of the pieces any different or if you have any other suggestions, leave them down below. Please, please, please share this video. It helps me grow, especially in this crazy algorithm. So yeah, let's hit that subscription button and that notification bell wherever it is on the screen. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media channels, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff and my website reneelennox.com again i am taking personal style consultations if you guys are in need of any help let me know and until next time
Bye.